everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing something a little exciting for me is I'm going to be using a multicam shoot using time code. So on camera one, we have the Canon EOS R and on camera two, we have the Canon 80D. So just something a little different to try out. And it's kind of weird talking between two cameras since I'm not really used to it, but I've been testing out time code using the Mix Pre 3 Mark II and the Tentacle Sync Ease and Tentacle Sync Studio to do multicam clips and time code and all that other good stuff. So we're going to go through the setup on how to set up the Mix Pre 3 Mark II as the master and the Tentacles Sync Ease as the secondaries or slaves. I hate that term, but that's the term that's used. So sorry about that. That's just a term that's used. I don't mean to offend anybody. So we're going to go through all that setup on how to set that up and the devices and all the other cool stuff and go through the app for the Tentacle Sync Ease, which is really cool as well. So stand by here and uh, we'll start going through the setup and how all this is done with time code on a two camera shoot, which is pretty cool to me. I kind of like this. So stand by and uh, we'll get out of this. Thanks. All right, everybody, now that we're over on the Mic Pre 3, let's check a few things to make sure it's set up correctly. So inputs, we just want to make sure that the aux in mode is, well, nothing you really need to check here actually. But if you do want to use the aux in mode, you can use it, you can set it to time code. Next thing we're going to do is check our outputs. You make sure that the bottom left here says linear time code is on or out. So that's, a, that's what we want to set there. LTC stands for linear time code. So, and that'll set it out the stereo out jack. Next thing we want to go into is our time code menu. Um, for this one, I'm using time of day and 23.98 frames per second. All right, everybody. So the next thing we want to go into is the record menu. Now, if you notice on the top left where it says record the left, right mix, when I had the left and right mix turned off, Tentacle Sync Studio would not work correctly and sync the wave file out of the mix pre 3 2. I don't know if that's a bug or a firmware bug. So I've had the best luck when I put the left and right mix to on and I record it to the poly WAV file. So just a little thing there that I worked with Tentacle Sync support. They don't know why it does it either. And they're going to send it to the developers. So if you're using the Mix Pre 3 Mark II and you're having problems syncing your time code in Tentacle Sync Studio, just make sure your left and right mix is turned on. And that's what solved my problem. So the next thing we're going to do is get our Tentacle Sync E. And we're going to turn it on for about one second. And as you can see, it's flashing red, meaning it's ready to accept time code. So let's go ahead and plug it in, in here to the stereo out. If you notice, as soon as we plug it into the stereo out, it turned green, which means the Mix Pre 3 Mark II and the Tentacle Sync E are synced with time code. Very simple, very easy. And I'm going to do this with two separate time codes. Sorry, I'm going to do this with two separate Tentacle Sync E's. And we're going to do the two camera shoot. So that's how I got everything set up. And then we'll go over into Tentacle Sync Studio and then show you how to sync up, you know, the poly wave file from the Mix Pre 3 2 and from the two camera shots. So uh, stand by and we'll get out of this. Thanks. All right, everybody, now that we're over here on Tentacle Sync Studio, I dragged and dropped the three clips from my intro and outro. So there's camera one on top. In the middle is the WAV file from the Mix Pre 3 Mark II. And on the bottom is the second camera. Now, as you can see, it 
gives you all the time code information, especially for the Mix Pre, because that was the master. And since the cameras can accept basically time code because they're consumer grade cameras, it copies it to one of the audio channels. That's why it says no file time code, where it says file TC, you know, for time code. So that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and hit sync info. And if you notice the green triangles that come up on the right hand side, that means all these files can be synced together. Now there is one little quirk I want to show you. So let's go ahead and hit sync map. If you notice, it only did two of the files and not three. And for some reason, it, it puts this bottom clip to group one. So if you just go ahead and switch this to sync group three and then resync it, it's perfect. Now you can see all the files are perfectly synced. You know, we can test this and you can just hit the V1 or V2 over here to see the different angles. So we can go over here to V2 and we can check. Let me see when I'm looking at the camera. Different to try out. And it's kind of weird talking between two cameras since I'm not really used to it, but I've been testing out time code. Used. So if you notice, it does list the time code down here in the bottom. In the USR, it was shot in a, in a flat log profile. That's, what, that's why it works this way, or looks this way, because I haven't brought it into the NLE yet. And color graded it and added a lot and all that other good stuff. So it's not your device that you're looking at. This is just a, a log shot or a log profile. So pretty simple to get everything synced. Um, if you want to go ahead and export this either as an XML file for your NLE or AAF for like Pro Tools, Avid Pro Tools, but I'm using Final Cut. So we'll go ahead and use XML. Now it picked these up automatically, but just in case you want to check the project frame rate, video format, and audio format, make sure that they're correct. You can even open it up in Final Cut if you want, or you can switch this to Premiere Pro. So pretty simple. And you just go ahead and save it. You can give it a name if you want to. We'll just go ahead and save it as, as untitled. And as, as you can see, it gives us some information about our export. So pretty, sim pretty simple. To me, this is one of the best time code sync apps out there. Not just my opinion, some may differ. So pretty cool, definitely pretty easy, but this definitely took some getting used to and getting the workflow straight and all that other stuff. So let me go ahead and get out of this and get back to the normal shot, thanks. All right, everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial or how to on multicam shoots with time code using camera A and using a camera B. For some reason, the ADD lost me there for a second. So I had to make sure it was on me again. That's the other cool thing about using Canon products. They both have flip out screens so I can see if I'm being focused and locked on to and all that other good stuff. So pretty cool. That's why I like Canon products, you know, flip out screens. You got the big um, box around my head, even though I got a big head to show that in focus on the Canon ED. And on the Canon USR, I got like an Atomos Ninja 5 out here to the side with false color for our, our focus peaking, not false color, focus peaking on. So I can see that I'm in color and color in focus. So Pretty cool, hopefully you learned something, you know, and uh, if you ever get a chance to do this kind of setup, it's actually very fun for me to do these kind of technical things and to make sure everything works and all that good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, give me a big double thumbs up if you liked it, a big double thumbs down if you didn't like it. Please everybody be safe out there. You know, try to stay happy and positive and we'll get through this, we will. All right, everybody. Have a great day or night. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.